every information that is being given to you might not be true might not be the same value if i want to reach to that particular level if i want to achieve that target i need to go through a step by step process so that is where critical thinking will definitely help you transition and operation are two different factors you, you know when you transit into an operation when you start thinking when you start getting into the apply, application of critical skills then automatically you make yourself build even more stronger day by day Good morning and welcome to the session 4 in unit 5 in business environment and we are going to talk about a very very important aspect called as the business concept and critical thinking now there cannot be any business in this world if you are not able to think and plan properly so this is a very very important quality for every manager in this world to understand and to take it forward now let's try to understand what is critical thinking all about it can be defined as the process of analyzing evaluating information to guide the beliefs and action many a time in our life we are guided by our intuition by our guts by our thoughts saying that whatever we have thought is right but then let's try to understand that every information that is being given to you might not be true might not be the same value altogether as a business manager as a business leader you need to evaluate each and every information carefully dissect it to the last level possible understand what is the value of the information that has been spoken about why because when people come and talk about any piece of information it might be about your company it might be about you or it might be about the performance of your colleagues but then what is very important for a manager for a leader is to understand the importance of the information itself so you need to develop a critical analytical skill an understanding level so that you are able to go further and see what is the value of the information you need to analyze each and every step that is very very important when you are starting to get into the critical thinking process the next one when students chooses to go to a college they put a lot of critical thinking i'm just bringing you an example here why because there are many times when students think they understand which college to go which kind of course to be selected why we need to go to this college what will be the benefits of selecting this college so every single step is been evaluated by a student by a process altogether where we try to understand the deviation that's happening now it's quite important here that when they make a choice when they make a selection they factor in several process several ideas several you know uh, i would like to say options together now for example if i would have decided to study economics in harvard or in stanford or in mit whichever college in this world i would have factored in certain options to understand whether studying economics in this university is better or somewhere else which means critically i need to analyze and understand that every option that is going to be selected by me has got a weightage has got an importance altogether that's where the critical thinking comes into picture so every time it is mandatory that we start understanding the critical valuation we start understanding the factors of how things are happening now the other thing that i would like to talk about in this scenario is that it not only entails us from acquiring information but also analyzing it to the identity of essential elements now whenever you are studying about some factors or you are studying about some options all together in life it is not that easy for you to make a selection but you make that selection happen based on certain identification based on certain factors based on certain options which will be beneficial to you so that is how this 
actual critical thinking will make you understand what are all the beneficiaries that are associated at each and every level so that you will be able to understand the importance of this level. Moving forward, business leaders take major actions every day. So that is quite true because if you are a leader, if you are the owner, you are the CEO of the company, you are going to take hundreds and thousands of decisions which are equally important for your organization. You will not be able to make judgments out of intuition or you will not be able to make judgments out of probability. So you would have to take this up, the critical thinking method, you have to go through a review process of understanding each and every step, each and every report and then come to the conclusion. You cannot adopt a hire and fire method just like that because that is not going to give you results. That is not going to carry you forward as a business leader. So the entitlement of understanding each and every component as in why we need to look into it. What is the relativity there? What is the specificity in terms of talking all those factors? That is what we are trying to talk. That's what we are trying to understand here altogether. So it's very, very important for each one of us to understand the meaning, understand the support functions altogether before even we start getting into action. Now, most of the great leaders in this world have always took the ideology of thinking as the foremost step in terms of understanding something, in terms of making things on the analytical ideology altogether. So that's why I would always say that this methodology will definitely spell success to us. This methodology will make us understand why we need to go through certain factors, certain norms altogether. So that is why this is very much needed for us. So when I go through this method, when I try to understand this methodology altogether, I also try to go through this in a very, very uh, straightforward manner where I want to see what is the growth, what is the deeper level impact altogether. So for example, like if I'm going to make use of the skill in making a tough decision calls altogether, definitely I'm going to apply my knowledge apply my skill, apply my expertise to arrive at a particular conclusion. Now, many a times for the business leaders, it becomes very difficult to take certain decision calls, to make certain appraisals altogether. Why? Because that might be threatening to them as well as to the organization. So it is very, very important when you start seeing that you are able to understand the scandal, you are able to understand the threat, you are able to understand the, in the aftermath effect altogether. Now, let's say that you have to dismantle a unit completely, you have to divest an organization completely, or you have to let go on the non-performing assets completely, or probably you might have to write down the debts completely. These are all decisions which cannot be taken out of gut or intuition. This cannot be taken out of a single thought process. This cannot be taken at will and wish. This needs critical thinking. This needs ideology of understanding the business at each and every level, trying to make a very, very critical thought process, a very, very important point of how we need to handle it. As a business leader, you need to have that patience. You need to have that energy and you need to have that vision of understanding what is going on in the organization, why we need to take this call. What is the step-by-step -step action that we have to go in order to reach the destined result altogether? If I want to reach to that particular level, if I want to achieve that target, I need to go through a step-by-step -step process. So that is where critical thinking will definitely help you. Followed by the role of critical thinking in business where we bought in the factor that usage of logic to identify, analyze and solve the problem altogether. Now, let me talk about this word logic very, very clearly. Logic is not a science. Logic is actually a connectivity. It's a mapping. Let me try to make you clear about this logic function. 
Logic is not going to apply formulas. Logic is not about that theoretical knowledge or logic is not about that heavenly knowledge that is going to just pour inside you. Logic is a conceptual mapping. It is all about understanding the do's and don'ts and it is all about getting you to the norms of making you feel about why certain things have to be done and how it has to be done and why not certain other things. So when I'm going to apply logic, I'm going to apply a corrective methodology, a path through which I can make a better decision. Logic is all about common sense. So if you understand that every single method, every single ideology that we are speaking today has got a common sense inside it, has to be applied, has to be thought about before we do it, then automatically you become more logical, more rational in terms of getting the things done. And a very simple example, if I want to share with you, if I have to learn swimming and once I start swimming in a river or in a sea or in a swimming pool, the simple logic which I need to understand is to keep my body floating. I have to keep my body in a floating level so that I don't sink down. That's a common logic. Now, there is no point in saying that I know swimming, I am an expertise, I've gone through different schools of swimming, but unfortunately, if I don't apply the common sense there. So similarly, in business, it is mandatory that you apply the common sense towards the business goals. Is it possible? Is it feasible? Can it be applied? How can it be applied? If it is being done, where we will reach? So somewhere down the lane, the if and but matching in the common sense of getting things done needs to be understood very, very critically. That's where the role of critical thinking will make a difference to the business. So every business leader needs to apply logic to every single problem that they face through. They must analyze and apply the logic logic all together so that they will get more efficient work process. That mapping will take you to the next level as far as possible. So this is why I call logic is important. Now moving forward, what are the benefits of critical thinking? Now this is very very important for all of us. It will improve the communication strategy. Now that is the most important essence of any business, if I would like to mention. Why is that? Communicating with different types of people and requires a different identification, different audience, and you need to identify what you are thinking. So for example, if you are a company CEO who is considered to go in in terms of buying out the competitor, you will try to make an essence of what is going to be the impact on the employees, on the company. What I'm trying to say here is that communication is the essence of any business. You cannot survive in this world without communication. You need to talk. You need to tell people 100 times a day what you are thinking, why you are thinking and what it makes to become a leader at any given point of time. So it is very, very important for each one of us at this juncture to understand, to analyze and to take it forward in terms of business, in terms of activity altogether. So I would always say that Acting is very, very important. You need to act quick. But then before acting, you need to communicate. You need to tell your employees. You need to tell your stakeholders at every given point of time. What exactly are you trying to do? Why are you doing it? So you need to make the entire process transparent with ethics inbuilt in it. That is where communication strategy will actually make a difference to the business. So I would always say that investment through communication, that's very, very important. You invest your ideas through communicating. You make your people believe by your words. You make your employees believe that yes, you are trying to reach them in each and every aspect. That's where you build the trust and that's where the communication level takes you to the next level of leadership. Now, the next thing, support smooth operations, maintaining daily operations is a constant challenge, no doubt about it. And for that, we need a constant critical thinking altogether. 
Now, for example, when you want to run a business, it is not that easy. Why? Because you might think that there are people there to support your business and your business would just function like any other business in this world. But unfortunately, you will start understanding that there are several barricades to that operation. So if I want to make a smooth transition in terms of operation, I need to understand at each and every level, what are all the challenges? How do I need to overcome it? So if I look into the example here itself, if the power goes out in a restaurant and there is no emergency backup generator, the manager must decide not only to do what to do with the customers, but also with the food that is there kept in the storage. So somewhere like this, you might not be just thinking about the current process, the current activity, but you also need to think about something which is there in the back of your mind, in the back of the operations. So there are things where you will not be able to take it for granted, but you have to go beyond the line in order to think what we exactly need to do make the best of the situation. So please understand this factor, transition and operation are two different factors. You, you know, when you transit into an operation, when you start thinking, when you start getting into the apply, application of critical cells, then automatically you make yourself build even more stronger day by day. Next, the streamlining of product development. As a business leader, you need to understand the products that are being developed by you, by the organization, needs to be streamlined in order to bring in better efficiency, in order to bring in better process, better quality altogether. You will not be able to run an organization without streamlining your product development. So for example, it might be the smallest product that you are developing or it might be the biggest aeroplane that you are designing, but you need to streamline. You need to go and tell your managers, your operation heads and everybody what exactly you are expecting as a customer. Don't talk to them as a business leader, but talk to them as a customer. Tell them the expectations of the customer. Tell them what exactly they would expect they would like as a customer. That is where when the company will start prioritizing things as per the need of the customer and they would start getting into the production activity. So whenever you are streamlining, you are putting your critical skills inside and you are going to think exactly like the customer, which will make you a successful company. Followed by the demand for critical thinking in business. Today, if you start looking, critical thinking is considered to be a very big asset. It is considered to be a proficiency as you know, a foreign language. So communication, leadership, teamwork, these are all the measurable activities on which you are going to be looked into. These are all the factors on which you are going to build your leadership capability. It is not going to be the grades. It's not going to be your mark sheets or the certificates or the Ivy League school degrees that you have got. It is all going to be your skill set of combining the team, working with the team and leading the team in from the front. So which means you need a lot of thinking, you need a lot of approval. While one side, your hard skills are going to be demonstrated. The other side, you also need to demonstrate your soft skills. Then only you can see the clear picture and you will be able to take the business to the next level. Now, how does the critical thinking help you to assess the first thing, assessment of situation, collaboration among teamwork, then you bring in the teamwork factor, presentation of strategies, you tell people what is the essential thing, how we are doing it, your verbal communication, your written communication, all this factor are going to be put inside in order to make critical thinking even more productive for the business. With this, I come to the end of the session. I hope and believe that this session was of great use and of a help to you. In the upcoming sessions, we will be thinking about more different processes in the business environment, which is changing very rapidly, very dynamically, so that we will be able to go forward and take up the challenges the new business era is throwing at us. But until then, stay tuned, stay blessed and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.